The project is called Inu Racont. The project is a partnership program financed through a measure dedicated to reading. It is an education ministry initiative to promote the development of literacy of children and adults outside the school setting. So we presented a series of activities for families who have kids aged 0 to 9 years old, promoting literacy but adapted to the Innu culture. Donc, on a présenté un projet euh, d'activité familiale pour les familles qui ont des enfants de 0 à 9 ans euh, pour favoriser le développement de la littératie, mais euh, adapté à la culture inou. Actually, one objective is the direct development of literacy for the 0 to 9 year old. And when we speak about literacy, we say zero because seeing an adult tell the story has an impact even for little ones who are a few years old. So when we talk about literacy development, it doesn't necessarily mean to learn how to read. Yes, we do learn how to read, but also how to develop the language. So there is that goal in Inu Raconte, but there is also a goal to include the parent. That's why there are family activities so that later at home the parent can continue the same activity with the child to develop the literacy even more. C'est des activités familiales pour que l'enfant puisse après à la maison poursuivre le même type d'activité avec son enfant pour développer au maximum la littératie. Usually, an activity of Inu Racon lasts about an hour, divided in three parts. In the first part, a person who speaks the First Nations language, in this case Inu, who will come and tell a story, talk about an event orally and in its native tongue. Usually for that part, elders are invited to come and talk about historical events related to a given theme, and that theme is repeated by a person who will read a story. We are talking about stories on helping. For for example, that come from First Nations literature. We target themes like this one. Wapush's gift is on courage. So the elder will tell a story in Innu about something that happened dealing with courage. Then a reader reads a book in French on the same theme. In the end, older kids that are of a certain age can do some activities. Kids between four and nine years old, for example, they will have to do a drawing on what they understood the story told them. And all this time, the family is there. It's a family activity with the little ones, the older ones, the parents, and even the grandparents. So for the project, this year, there were five Inu Racont activities. Once a month in each of the Inu communities, from Essipit to Pakuashipi and Shefferville to the north, Madame Akash. So we targeted five stories from authors from First Nations in Canada and elsewhere. We were not limited to Canada either. Et tout au long, ben, toute la famille est là. C'est une activité familiale. Donc, euh, avec les tout petits, avec les plus grands, avec les parents, euh, parfois avec les grands-parents. Donc, euh, nous, pour le projet cette année, euh, il y avait cinq activités, ils nous racontent, euh, une par mois dans chacune des communautés Innu de la Côte-Nord, de Espit à Pakwashipi, en passant vers Shefferville au nord, Matimekouche. Euh, donc, on avait ciblé cinq, euh, cinq contes issus soit d'auteurs des Premières Nations euh, du Canada ou d'ailleurs. On ne s'est pas restreint au Canada nécessairement. The first one is Stolen Words, that speaks to the importance of conserving the native language. Then we have Wapush's gift that deals, like I said, with courage. We had Nika's adventure, a legend on mutual aid, then My Name is Thunder on identity. And finally, the legend of Karakaju on mutual aid and courage once again. So we targeted five themes, and when we renew, because we are going to ask for a second grant to continue the project, again, we will find themes that could be interesting and are sensitive to the Innu culture. In fact, we are making a great effort to promote First Nations literature. We would like to ask for a second grant to continue the project. We will continue to find some themes that can be interesting 
intéressant, sensible pour, euh, la, au niveau de la culture et nous. Et on fait, euh, on fait des gros efforts pour euh, en même temps promouvoir la littérature des Premières Nations. I think you need projects that are community oriented. That kind of spirit is very present in the Inu community. And that's why we focused on family activities where families are grouped together. That is one thing. And having the elders that are present includes speaking at the beginning because the measures dedicated to reading from the education ministry do not include an oral part where someone tells a story. They were only about reading. So we adapted the measures to include an oral part. So we have to take into account the nation's culture when you do such an activity. Une partie orale où on a quelqu'un qui va simplement raconter, c'était uniquement avec de la lecture. Donc, nous, on a adapté euh, les, les, la mesure pour pouvoir inclure l'oral. Euh, donc, il faut tenir compte euh, de la culture de la nation quand on fait une activité comme ça. It always makes me smile when we talk about evaluating success. It can be measured in different ways. Activities were held and participation in some places were greater than other places for various reasons. It was the first year for this project and like I said, we will resubmit it. I think one has to measure success in the long term. It is difficult to evaluate a project like this one, but it should be renewed because its principles are solid. It is really on a long-term basis that we will see all the benefits to group families together around activities concerning language conservation and reading at school, developing the reading abilities of the children and of the families. So I think that it's really in the long term that parents will be at ease with those different aspects and will include them in their daily routine. I don't think it can have an impact after only one year, but the success, if you want to call it that, is in the formula, I think. This formula can have very positive effects. Les parents vont devenir à l'aise avec ces différents aspects-là et qui vont les inclure dans leur quotidien. C'est pas après juste un an que je pense que ça peut avoir des des impacts. Mais le le succès, si on voulait parler de succès en guillemets, il est dans la formule, je crois. On a vraiment trouvé une formule qui qui peut avoir des effets très positifs. Education, for me, is everywhere, not just within the four walls of a school. It's in life, it's at home, it's with friends, it's in nature. Education is everywhere, and more particularly in Indigenous communities. I think this is true. We here, for example, in Quebec, when we talk education, we usually base our discussions on schools. But I don't think it is the same for the Innus or the First Nations. In general, we talk about education with an holistic approach, taking into account different settings. That's how I see education. We can't learn science if we can't go on the land. It would not make sense. That's how I see it. si on n'est pas capable de sortir sur le terrain, par exemple, ça n'aura comme pas de sens. Donc, c'est comme ça que je le vois un petit peu. I hope that in the next 10 years, we will be more and more able to take into account Indigenous values and Indigenous ways of learning, and we'll be able to adapt maybe not the content, but the educational practices within the programs. Dealing with the program will remain. Content will remain content, but the way we teach the content must be different for it to be significant for the students. So I hope that in the next 10 years or so, we will see more and more, even though we see some on a small scale. So I hope adapting the educational practices will become the norm. We need time. The takeover of education is only 30 years old or so, I would say. The history of the Indigenous takeover of education is fairly recent.
Of course, one cannot have everything immediately or all completed on a short time frame either. You need to take the time to understand what is needed, what works, and what doesn't. I think what we need most is time, and that is not a judgment because there are high points, low points, and successful instances. Some years there are less. It's not because the road is a little hard that it doesn't lead anywhere. I think we need to have self-confidence and take the time. Parce que c'est pas parce que il y a des il euh, des hauts, il y a des bas, il y a des réussites, euh, des années il y en a moins. C'est pas parce que le parcours est un peu difficile que le parcours va pas quelque part. Fait que je pense qu'il faut se faire confiance, faut prendre le temps.